Guys, welcome. I'm Pashpika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about making money online as a creative person, as an artist. Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the keywords everywhere, how to use the keywords everywhere for your uh, Zazzle shop, for Redbubble shop, for any other print on demand shop, how you could use this tool to find the keywords, to find the trends, to find the niches or products, whatever it is. And this is a requested video, guys. So let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more such videos. Make sure you visit our website www.globoarte.info for more cool informations and a lot of the resources are there. And we have a lot of the cool free resources. The links are in the description box below. You can support me and my channel on the Patreon. The link is in also the description box below. You're going to get early access to my YouTube videos. A lot of the content is there on the Patreon. The link is in the description box. I'm going to be showing you how to install the uh, Chrome extension of Keywords Everywhere. And we're going to be using it, searching on a Google. And the same way you could use it for doing the search for uh, Zazzle products, for your Redbubble store, for Pinterest, or whatever you want to search on Google. This will going to help you. So let's dive in. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Uh, you can see this is on. we are on the laptop. I'm going to talk about the Keywords Everywhere and how you can use this tool to do the research and to find the keywords for your products on Zazzle, for Redbubble, or for selling anywhere in the online space, even for your blog article, for your YouTube channel. It's kind of like a multi-purpose, okay? So you can see the keywords everywhere. You just need to Google the keywords everywhere and this will going to pop up. Then just click over to the keywords everywhere over here. Now they do have the paid plan and they do have the free plan. So depending on whichever one you choose, you can very well go with that. So keyword research on the Go Accurate Matrix right where you need, you can install it for um, Chrome and Firefox. So they do have the plugin, whether you are having a Firefox or whether you are having a Chrome. I'm going to show you in a second how to download the plugin and we are using a Chrome. So I'm going to show you the process for installing on the Chrome. I'm going to go over into the pricing because if you are looking forward to one, it will going to help you. Now they do have, I think the four plans over here. Yeah. The four plans. The first plan is the bronze. So one dollar per month if you are actually billing annually, twelve dollars per a year. So keywords for website top thousand and backlinks per website top thousand. So you can see in the plans the uh, backlinks and the keywords are increasing. Keywords means that you can search for thousand times in the first plan. Uh, in the second plan, the silver four dollar, you can search up to two thousand. Uh, the third plan goes $20 and you can search up to 5,000. Then you're getting the access to SEO minimum, meaning I'm sorry, all rapidlevel.com courses. You are getting the courses as well. And the last plan, they have $80 a month in which you're getting 10,000 keywords per website. So you can just search it depending on whichever one you would like to prefer, but you can try it for free as well. Okay and then you want to search for more keyword then obviously you need to go with their paid plan because there is a limitation on uh there's a limitation in that every single day you can only search for uh some amount of keywords in the free plan you can't do the unlimited search okay so that's why if you're searching more and if you want more keywords and you want to try more then obviously you need to go with the paid plan and you can go whichever one you prefer to like to go with that so you can read about the credits, expiration work, the modes of the payment, what is paddle like. You can just read about this before going into their paid plan. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to the homepage again and we're going to download it for the Chrome. So I'm going to click over to the install for Chrome. And then here we are. You can select your website from here. Sorry, you can select your email ID from here on which you want to download it. And this is the uh, web app from the Chrome Web Store. Uh, you can read the reviews and how many people have used there, like the users, 1 million plus users. Okay, now I'm going to just simply click over to the option Add to Chrome. Uh, it's asking me, yes, I want to add its extension. So that's a simple thing you have to do. You need to add the extensions. So here we are. Thank you for installing the Keywords Everywhere extensions. Not seeing Keywords KK at the top right, right corner. So you can see we have already installed the extension on our Chrome. So it's very simple. The same thing you could do for Firefox as well. You can just download the extension for your desktop and then it will going to help you so search anywhere that you want to search. Okay. 
you can read about the chat GPT prompts, what is keyword everywhere. So the free version has the following feature. We're going to use the free version, guys. OK, you can go with the paid plan if you're interested in that. So we're going to try it for free. So in the free version, you are getting the chat GPT prompt templates, 200 plus optimized prompt templates to help you get the most out of your chat GPT. So 200 plus, OK, Instagram hashtag generator, generate the most popular hashtag for Instagram, no volume data. Pinterest Insights, I think this is the one that you're really interested in if you're promoting your Zazzle products, your Redbubble products, or any products that you want to promote on Pinterest, then you can do that. Search Insights, Trend Chat, Related Trends, no volume, no volume data. Now, these ones are for the paid plans. Has everything the free version has, and this one is for the paid plan. In the paid plan, you're getting 20 plus website tra traffic web metrics, Moz linked uh, metrics. SEO metrics, YouTube trend charts, uh, import keywords, bulk trends data, keywords widgets on page analysis, competitor, sorry, competitors gap analysis, multiple Google properties, multiple e-commerce uh, websites, multiple search engines, multiple tools. So uh, in the paid plan, you're getting a lot of that. In the free plan, you're limited. But again, you can use it for free. And if you want a paid plan that it's not costly, it's just $1 a month and it's paid annually, simple. So it's actually explaining if you're purchasing their API keys and how to install it. So that's a very simple. You can just uh, install the plugin on your Chrome or on your, uh, whether you are on Chrome or whether you are using a Firefox, okay? So uh, I think I'm going to be having these extensions where you're, let me see. So here it is. You can see once it's going to download the extension, you're going to see the extension over here or you're going to see somewhere over here. So here is the extension. Uh, I'm going to click over here. So it's coming over here. Fine. Now you can see the extension is on. It's global in ways contact and you can see the competitors. You can sign up to purchase a paid plan. Now, we're going to type it for bulk keywords date, or you can use it the way you want to. We're going to be using it for the Pinterest, but preferably you can use it for everywhere. For example, we are looking for back to school design for our Zazzle, and we want the keywords for that and what people are using for. So I'm going to write back to school. Back to school. Now you can select anything. Back to school codes, font, uh, poster or literally anything. I'm going to search for back to school um, clothes or back to school stationery. You could have the stationery. So actually it's showing the videos. We are not interested in watching the videos, but then you can see, this is the thing guys I want to tell you. You can see the SEO difficulty 66 by 100. You can see the brand query is no of page difficulty on page difficulty you can see all that stuff over here then this is the trend this is the thing guys it's really important for you whether you are having a website a blog pinterest zazzle shop redbubble anywhere you're selling in the online space or you're creating content in the online space this thing will going to help you to understand when that particular thing is on the trend so you could see uh, it was quite trending in the 2005, then 2008, then 2021. Like you can see how it's actually being trended over here. And you can take it as an all time or you can take it in the seven days, three months, 12 months. So if I'm going over to the 12 months, because that was a pretty long 2005 to 2021. OK, so if I'm taking it as a 12 months, you can see uh, in the June and July, it's, it was trending. June and July, obviously, going to make sense. It's going to be trending. And then you're going to see the big hype in the August. So you can see from June to August, there is a big hype in back to school. And then you're going to see a big dip. Like it's going down in the September or going down even in October, then November, December. It's going pretty down. Then there is a big hype again in January. So you can see depending on the trend, you can see the trends. So it's actually there a big hype in the July and August and then you can see in the January and so on. Like this was the one specific keyword like back to school stationery. We can see when it's popular, when it's trending, when people are actually searching on a Google for back to school stationery. So if you are uploading back to school products on a Zazzle, you get the idea when your products were going to sell because at that particular time, 
the more people are searching for and that's why you can see the more eyeballs and more sales so if you are uploading the product back to school right now in the june you can expect to get the sales in august and then the sales were going to be down from uh, september to december and then you're going to see a big hype again in the january so you can expect when you can get the sales for that particular products so you can see the trend related to the keyword and these are the keywords that you could use for your products depending on your ideal client so it's like cool images for school cute school supplier list cute school suppliers amazon so you can use these keywords whether for selling on the amazon sorry whether you're selling on yeah whether selling on the amazon whether selling on zazzle redbubble or even if you are creating a pinterest pins you can use these keywords in your captions in your tags uh, in your mockup, uh, in your pins itself to actually uh, get the attention to actually rank well on the Google. Okay. So these were the related keywords and these are the long tail keywords that you can literally use it. So this is the use of the keywords everywhere. Now we're going to try for Christmas because this is a very hot time to upload the products for the Christmas. I'm going to try the Christmas gift ideas or you can try simply the christmas gifts any keyword you can search for now uh, it would be understandable for a lot many people that i know when the christmas is on the high but still it will going to help you can see the seo difficulty you can see the brand query on page difficulty if you don't understand these pretty big things then let them be like that only just focus on the trends this focus on the trend chart over here like you can select 30 days, 3 months, well, 5 years all time and then look at the keywords that is the short tail keywords and the long tail keywords that you could use for your product. So here we are. I can see the Christmas hype is starting from August. It's kind of like increasing and December 11, 17, it's very high and there is a big drop after that. So you can see. If you're uploading the product right now, you for the Christmas, you expect to get the sales. Okay. Similarly, you can search for anything, guys. If I want to search for the winter products, like, or if I want to upload the design related to the snow. So I'm going to write snow. I can write it as a white snow man uh, card. Okay. If you're creating a white snowman card, on Zazzle, then this will going to help you. So you can see the SEO difficulty 75 by 100 off page difficulty, the brand queries, you can see all about it. And you can also go to the option how these metrics are calculated. If you're confused about how they are calculating, you can look at the detailed breakdown. If I'm clicking on the detailed breakdown, it will going to show you the exactly detailed breakdown. What's the ranking uh, from what particular website, like on the Amazon, this title is ranking and this is a description. So if you are actually want to have the description for an individual product, then you can take the idea from that. Okay, they are having, this is the title for the product and that's why they are ranking high. This is a description. This is a highlight. You can just go and deep dive into that. It's like kind of like an unlimited research, guys. You can go it very basic. Then you're getting the long tail keywords over here. So these are the keywords. Now I don't see the trend chart for this particular one. I'm not sure why this. You can get the idea. I think it was way more specific. That's why the trend chart was not there. If I'm not going to I'm way more specific, if I'm going for Valentine gift, let me see. Okay, here we are. You can check the this particular section. Then go over to the trends. Because if you're going for the trending niches or design, then this is something you can really go on. So you can see from November to December, it started to going on peak till the February 5th, 11th, and then, then there's a big drop. Then you can scroll down, you can see the long tail keyboards that you can use for Valentine's Day gifts. So that's the purpose of using the keywords everywhere for keyboards, long tail, short tail keywords for knowing about which are the products or things are ranking well on the Google for that, looking at the title description, also looking at the trend chart. You can type for any specific trend and you can look that. Like right now it's a pride month. So if I'm typing the pride month. So if you're uploading the design, you can see the SEO difficulty, the brain queries. You can see all the stuff we are. And then you see the trend chart for pride month. Okay, it's different. So this is a 12 month. So you can see there is a hype in the June, then there is a drop, 
and again there is a like from the April it started till June so from the April you can see the trend for the pride month is starting May it's going high and June it's going pretty high then you can read about it if you want to know more about pride month and these are the trending keywords that you could use you can load the metrics of the keywords if you're interested and these are the long tail keywords you can really copy these keywords or you can export these keywords and then you can use them wherever you would like to use simply just copy them and paste them where you want to use it and then make it, and then add it or just click over to this uh, load metrics that will going to use your 25 credit now you are getting very less credits in the free free package because you need to buy the credits but in the free one you are getting this particular chart and you are getting this trending keywords and you are getting this long tail keyword so it makes sense to go with the free one in the beginning and then you see that it's helping you actually to bring in sales then you can go with the paid plan so that's the use of the keywords everywhere now and this is just one way to use the keywords everywhere now people do use it in the various variety of the ways like you can see uh, you can see the stats invoice uh, you can see the competitors gap analysis bulk matrix so you are getting a lot of the options in the keywords everywhere too guys I've just covered the very basic that you if you are very new to the keywords everywhere then it will going to help you with a very basic uh, research and then once you see that you are able to grasp it you can go more deep dive into that and you go more deep into what exactly you want to do so this is a very simple and very basic so that's it for this video guys hopefully you find this tutorial useful let me know what you think in the comment section below do you want more such videos any video requests is really welcome your comments your questions are really welcome thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you the next time till then take care bye guys